today I'm going to show you what's in my makeup bag. This one here is my makeup bag. And it's from the brand Sheila's. It's just this black sturdy makeup bag in faux leather kind of stuff. With lots of colorful old school tapes on it. So, let's see what lies within. Okay, so the first thing, as you can see, it's pretty full right now. I'm just going to take the things on top. First thing is my e.l.f. High Definition Powder. This is just a translucent powder. Uh, and I totally forgot to <laughs> wash this one. It's, yeah, well, translucent loose powder. And since I'm white trash, I believe in quantity over quality for most things. I've purchased e.l.f. on iHerb. So yeah, that's one good. I also have a couple of mascaras. Uh, this first one is from e.l.f. And I believe it's called Mineral Infused Mascara. The label is worn off. Just a simple wand. Plastic wand, what do you call it? Just a simple brush. Um, I also have this one, which... Oh, that's the way for it. I also have this one from e.l.f., which is eye enhancing mascara, which is for people with blue eyes. So it's supposed to be sparkly and make your eyes pop. Personally, I have green eyes most days, but I thought that maybe green and blue are kind of similar, so it would use the same colors. Just this wand with balls on it, I don't know what you would call it. This one gives a thin coat, so I like to use that on top of another mascara just to make my eyes pop. And I also love this one on the lower lashes, but these two are almost empty, at least the first one. So I purchased another one, also from e.l.f. This is Volume Plump Mascara, which I haven't used yet, so just looks like this natural thing. Next, I have my absolute favorite. Keeping on on the e.l.f. train, I have this, which is uh, an eyebrow kit in the color Ash. And as you can see, <laughs> I've used it quite a lot. It comes with this brush, which, which I actually really love. It's really handy. You have this one, which is the brow gel or brow wax. And then this one is your color, so which is ash in this case. And I've gone and bought a new one, which I also have here. And I really believe that these ones have made a huge difference in my brows. Because they tend to go all over the place. And then now I can set them and do the coloring and all that kind of jazz. One thing I have in my makeup bag, which I don't really use, is this BB cream from Garnier. Probably should have thrown this away because I think it's really old now. But I don't really like the feeling of having foundation or even BB creams in my skin. I only use powders if I have to use something. So I probably should throw this out. Okay, I'm going to leave this on the side so I remember it. Keeping up with eyes, I have this one, which is a liquid eyeliner from Max Factor. It's the Color Expert Waterproof Eyeliner, and this is a liquid eyeliner, and it's in deep black. Uh, originally, I thought that this was going to be one of those felt tips, you know? But no, it's one of those you have to dip inside this one to get something out. And it's quite hard to use. I can't, I can't seem to get the thin lines, but but I'm starting to get more used to it. But next time I definitely will double check that I get a felt tip. Things I also bought on iHerb: this Physicians Formula Super CC Plus. <coughs> concealer which 
correct it's a CC so it's color correcting so you can use it under your eyes for if you have um, black circles on your eyes or red blemishes or anything and this is in the color light medium and it's SPF 30 which is really good and I think that this covers up my blemishes I don't have really I don't really have black circles or huge spots on my face but sometimes it's nice to just touch up with this in here I also have a mirror <laughs> this one is a cheap one from Tiger I love this quirky quirky cheap stuff just display a mirror here love this one love this one and dun, 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 dun. from NYX Bam. from NYX I have this high definition uh, eyeshadow base which I try to use I don't use it that much. I don't use eyeshadow on a regular basis. And the eyeshadow palette that I have is this beautiful nude tood palette from The Balm. I love The Balm. I think it, I think they're The Balm. <laughs> Sorry. I love this nude tood palette. It's a double meaning. There are 12 nude colors inside of this palette and underneath all the eyeshadows there are naked ladies. So the eyeshadows are covering their bosoms and their lady parts. And I think you can get this one without the ladies on but I think that's half the fun to be honest. That's why I bought it. Um, it comes with this pen which I haven't really used and it has a really big mirror on oh sorry for blending it and it has a really big mirror at the top and it's magnetic it's magnetic also from the bomb I have a couple other products I have oh all my bobby pins are sticking to my palette guess I'll choosing this one this is the Bahama Mama bronzer palette no it's not the palette it's Bahama Mama bronzer and it's just this really nice bronzer which is really dirty right now and it has a mirror on top I really love this palette for country also I have this one from the bomb which is frat boy which is a blush it also has this one a mirror here and it's this color peachy coral maybe I don't know I don't really do colors that well but this one's really nice in my makeup bag I have this one which I have for quite some time it's Lancome 6 hour hold eyeshadow thing and it's this I'm going to try not to blend you really pretty light pink color and what I've been using this for lately is highlighting I'm highlighting on the top of my cheeks and on my cupid's bow and stuff like that and I think that it's nice that it's in really light pink yeah that one's good I also have this one eyelash curler in bright pink from H&M I have these tweezers which is from Tiger for this really cute girl Japanese girl and just one of these bad boys and I have a couple of lipsticks I bought these three from e.l.f. the quality is sadly very bad all of my lipsticks are 
All right, I don't know if you, if you can see that, but they are broken. Initially, I thought I would love this one the most, which is a really red color. And I thought that it was going to be like really classic red and gorgeous, but it's more like a pinky red and I don't think it suits me. And so I actually ended up loving this one more, which is kind of a grandma red, I would call it. It's a brownish red. And I also have this, which is coral. And I don't know if you can see, but this one has also, it's also broken. But I can swatch them for you. Here are my swatches. The top one is the one I thought was going to be red red, which is kind of pink red. And then there's the grandma brownish red, and then there's the curl. They were super cheap. They were like $2 each. So I don't think that's too bad for $2. Other ones I have, I have uh, another e.l.f. product, um, a liquid lipstick in the color, okay, I forgot to tell you what the colors was. The really red one was Fearless, the grandma red is Voodoo, and then the coral one is Flirtatious. It's in the color Raspberry. And it just has, I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if you can see that, but I've just pumped out some lipstick. And really, I think this one is more like a uh, gloss. It's not that much color payout. It's this at the bottom. I have one other lipstick, and that is this one from L'Oreal. And it's the color Dating Coral. So, as you can guess from the name, it's a coral lipstick. I'm going to swatch that one. And I also have a couple of Maybelline's Baby Lips. It's This one is a Baby Lips Dr. Rescue in the color Just Peachy. So, it's kind of non-existing neutral just a bit of gloss so some more like tinted lip balms than lipsticks and i also had to pick up this one which is the baby lips electro in fierce and tangy uh, and it's this yellow one we'll just swatch this one it has a yellow shine to it but since, since it is a tinted lip balm you have to put a lot on to get any colors. So now we're almost going through the whole makeup bag. I have a few items left. I have a couple of hair ties. One more. And then I always have some hair. <laughs> I always carry some bobby pins with me just in case I need to do something with my hair and lastly even though this isn't in my makeup bag I just want you <clears throat> I just wanted to show you my brushes so this one is holding all my brushes and I think I got this when I was like 10 years old and I used to hold my pencils when I was doing my homework I didn't have any brushes I bought a brush collection set from e.l.f. This is the professional. They're not that great quality and they're not super soft but for first timer this is okay just to have a few different kind of brushes. A couple of brushes from H&M. I have this fluffy eyeshadow brush and then I have this small kabuki brush and this one is so freakishly soft and I love it into pieces. Lastly, I bought this set from Real Techniques. Us YouTubers made me do it. I really love these brushes. They are super soft and I like the orangey coppery kind of color to these. And these are really handy. 
uh, this is the pointed foundation brush and I really love this one for putting on my concealer and this one I don't use that much it's a detailer brush this one is a contouring brush and it does exactly that it's really nice for contouring your cheekbones <laughs> don't know why I made that sound and then this one it is a buffing brush which I use for multiple things so that's it for my video I hope you liked it if you did click like down below and subscribe and comment down below if you liked anything god damn it bye